A little bit of a speech for my Billy Billy audience. 大家好，名字叫 Zacky， 你可以叫我 Zacky 哥哥。我已经玩了《幻打》中国版，是不是叫中国版吗 ？China version， 玩了大概五六个月，但是呃，我发现到呃、uh, ，a lot of the comments I see on Billy Billy， right？ 我看到你们的 comment， 你们都很喜欢我的意见，你们很喜欢我的反应， right？ 我这个这个 video 的话，我们会看《安娜贝拉》二点二过后，我会分享跟我觉得到。分享在印尼吧，我不能讲华语那么好。其实我对幻打，其实幻打其实是一个很好玩的游戏。在一点零的话，我觉得也是很不错，有很多东西可以做。然后，嗯，呃，其实我看到我的朋友 post 我的 video， bossy post post 我的 video 在哔哩哔哩，也是有看到你们，呃，很喜很很喜欢。我看到有时你你们会在我的直播上可以跟我打中文，但是我其实不会中文的。我可以说中文，但是中文我可以说中文不是太太好。但是我很大的问题是我不会读，就这样而已。呃，第一次要感谢你们，呃，因为是有你们的中国版国际服的换打是比较进步的一点，太呃像 character like free right， 它不是太太强。还有呃，我第一次玩换打，开始玩换打是在星岛零四，我一个朋友叫青怡，呃，青怡，如果你还有在的话，呃，很感谢你。我虽然转去了星岛零五，嗯、呃，是、呃、希望我们呃还是朋友吧。不知道你有在吗？拜拜。Anyways, uh, enjoy the video. I actually wanted to go through with the sneak peek that they're giving us. Uh, it mentions date right here, right? But let's go through the PV first, which is Annabella. I haven't watched this yet. So let's go ahead and watch it. Fanta. So they're doing this little Marvel sim uh comic flip, and this time it's Annabella. The first time they did it, I think it was with uh Saki Pua. Wait, there's no volume. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, that's her gun right there. Very sick. I really like this PV. It's so cool. It's really cool. It's like an anime. Okay, zooming in and target acquired. She's talking to someone actually. It's a real bullet. <laughs> I thought it was like a blast or a beam. <laughs> really love that design. This is very cool cinematic. Dude, she's so cool. And then we got Pansu. I like the bow. So cute. So people think she is a maid that actually sells cake, but in reality, she's actually a agent of Wera, from what I heard. And she's suddenly being chased. L two D design is very good. We've seen it before. Hit shot, right? And then she come close. And then she plays a little close range like Cobalt B, but more of a single target there. Okay. Oh, smoke, smoke bomb. And then a little fire AOE. Now this is something I don't know, right? It it feels like she's in a VR game. I think she's in a VR game, right? She's collecting coins because we have an arcade system, and she won a lot of money. Okay. See new simulacra. Yes, I think I think I think we're actually going through a VR headset, which is pretty cool. Who's Yiju? Is it us? All right, let's go through the slide they actually give us. So they mentioned this last time on the live stream. They mentioned there's gonna be a NPC apartment and our own apartment. I'm not sure if NPC meaning that we can actually go to other characters' apartment. But that would be really cool, right? And if, like, in the future, like, if we reach the new underwater map, it's gonna be a new character. Are we gonna have a different apartment system there? So I, I don't know about this, but they probably have it planned. And then we also have the food court right here, and then the Japanese theme and some music. If you want to listen to the traditional music, which is pretty cool, they try to immerse players, which I really like. And over here we got the swimming pool, which I don't really know why we have a swimming pool, but. It's it's awesome. We can hang out, right? We can hang out. It feels like we're being a little bit of metaverse, but it's, that's fine. And then we also have a pet shop, arcade, bowling house. Coming down, we also have the head office, which I honestly don't know what what's happening here. And then we also have cinematic tri uh, ci ci cinema, right? I'm not sure because it seems like we can watch all the PV here because as I seen over here at the cover. And something here, and then probably some party time. I I don't know that one. And Mirora is gonna have a big. Big map improvement, a lot of exploration. They never show us the Ferris wheel, but we already experienced that in uh, Caesar's Island, right? So it's not a big fan of. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. And then we also have the live party and a pub. I'm not sure if our characters can get drowned. And they also mentioned that they're gonna 
introduce more emotes. I, I hope that's the case, okay? Because the game has very less emotes. So over here, Annabella's banner is gonna launch on September 9th. So I'm gonna be a little bit late if the work is a little bit busy. But look at that design. That is very cool with the tie right there. Very thick. And it seems like she blasts something here, but... Uh, in the in the PB we saw her shooting bullets, right? So her weapons is called the. F f let me let me try. Let me try. Si ye shi zi. Is that it? Si ye shi zi. We don't know the English name yet. I don't want to try to translate it. And then also her matrices is gonna be on read up. And then we also have her skin right here. I actually read this. So if I am not wrong, this skin costs two thousand and two hundred eighty black crystal. But 1680 Tanium. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm from the future and I was actually wrong. So it actually costs 2280 Tanium, which is the blue, which is real currency. But during the discount, it will only cost 1680 Tanium. Okay. And then Ruby is currently on rate up until the 18. We have Ruby right here. And then we also have. The fourth banner from Nemesis, this is the fourth time they rerun her. They are so reluctant to put her. I think after the fourth rerun, they are gonna put her in standard banner. I don't know why they are dragging this, but uh, yeah, her matrix is also on radar. Ra Last but not least, on the uh, September 8th, we also have the 8 vs 8, which I definitely will stream this the whole day to showcase. And coming down is more of a capture the pose or something like that. And something seems to be over. Oh, this is the four player bygone where you can pick up buff and stuff like that to proceed. And it seems like it shows all the way up to the 21st floor, so hopefully we'll see more. It seems to be in the Abyssal boss boss point, but a little bit more polished and a little bit more blue. And coming down, we have some, I don't know, cooking I guess? I, I don't really know that, but a lot of more things as you've seen on the previous live stream. And perhaps... Okay, there they mentioned there's gonna be a rate up drop in, I think, armor equipment? I, I don't really know, I translated it could be equipment rate up drop and also materials. And then there's basically it. Uh, Mirora improvement is coming on 30th, 15, and 16 to 18. I think I think this is mini game. Yeah, this is actually mini game and event. So it's nice. They're introducing quite a lot of mini game. As of course, uh, t seven days lock in with a total of 1,000 black crystal and uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten red nucleus, which is pretty nice for us. And then some discount if we're gonna be buying it. I'm definitely gonna try to buy it because you know I'm saying to pull one copy of a character in the future. And that's basically it. I'm not gonna lie, playing Tower Fantasy from both sides, CN and Global, and also maintaining a full-time job has really stressed me out. I also have a part-time job as something else. But uh, I, if I don't catch up, I just wanted you guys to know that I play Tower Fantasy for fun and continue to share what I found in, on, on the on the channel, right? So I play mainly because of fun and because it really makes me happy, but I will play some other games on the channel. But so long as Tower Fantasy is fun, I will continue to cover it. Again, thank you all so much for watching, Zeki Senpai here, and hey, it's just a gaming channel.